My name is Gregory Hamilton, and this is the Highway to Heaven and 88 Steps. And today is day 56 of living our life on a daily purpose. Every day, we're taking that moment in time and we're asking ourselves, what is it that I want to do with my God-given life? And what is it that God wants me to do with my God-given life? And every day when we keep doing our bricks, we get better, stronger, confident, right? Happier, enjoying the ride, realizing that sometimes the bad things are the things that get us stronger to continue going forward for the good times. And life isn't always fair, it seems like that, because of, you know, some things that happen to us that seem difficult. But we know that that's the part of the journey. It's the employee making the mistake. How are we going to handle it? Okay, right? And so when we start doing those type of things, we're aware of our surroundings. We're aware of our intentions. We realize if the things that we're doing are helping us go forward or are they pushing us back. And when we're in surfing, this is exactly what you become aware of. You're not just aware of the other surfers. You're not just aware of the waves. You're aware of so many different things. As in life, it's dangerous. And when we're out there surfing the better waves, the better life, the better you, the best you can be, it gets a little bit more dangerous. But you understand what's happening around you. So you use it for your advantage. I was very young when I applied my first brick. My very first brick was, I want to go surfing. And I did it for, well, I'm still, if I can get in the water today, I would. So, and when you... I was surfing for 15 years before I moved to Hawaii to go surfing and live my bigger me dream of going surfing. And the first year of surfing in Hawaii was a complete brand new learning experience. I almost drowned. And I mean, when I say drown, I mean, well, I almost drowned twice. I was washed out the shore. I, anyways, these are other stories. So I had to learn completely a brand new way of thinking about surfing. In California, where I grew up, it's all shore is along the beach like this, and there's sand. There's a few, you know, uh, point breaks and stuff like this. But basically, if you're going to go surfing, you just paddle straight out. You just str strength and brute uh determination you just get out there and catch the waves well in Hawaii there's a lot of coral and rocks and a lot of wave action and current you're out in the middle of the ocean so the waves come in much faster thicker and it just it's a completely different experience and because of that the water is completely different it's not just a wave coming in and then just going back out. It will have currents. And these currents can be very dangerous or they can be used into your advantage and get a free ride back out to the waves. So when I first got there, you know, I didn't know better. I'm just trying to paddle straight out, but I get keep getting caught in the current that would push me here back to the beach and then it would suck me to the side away from the waves so i try real hard to get back to the waves get right back into that current get pushed right back out come back around and it took a long time to realize and watch people study them what's how come this is happening the whole time i'm getting stronger and learning but after a while you learn to go over to the current to the channel get in it paddle out where there's no waves and then when you're out there, you just paddle over nice and easy to where the spot is where you catch the waves. Nice and easy. But when I'm there as a new person, 
people that are out there doing it, they're not going to show me and teach me because as soon as I figure this out, I'm going to be out there trying to take their waves from them, correct? And this is another part of life when you're out there. When you are competing for the best waves out there, there'll be days you'll go out into a surf spot and you'll see this guy that's out there or a girl and you'll just be, ah, oh, that person's going to take every single wave. I'll never be able to compete with that person and they don't even like me personally for whatever reason and they're not even going to let me have a wave. And now you have to decide and are you going to go someplace else? You're going to accept that. You're going to compete with it. You're going to mentally what you're going to do. You know, you're going to surf on the inside where there's no competition or you wait for him to catch a wave and then you come in after him. So there's always constantly trying to know your surroundings, how you're going to get the maximum out of what your intentions are. Otherwise, because when you're out there surfing, hey, you know, I mean, you slip up and not think correctly, you can be in a very dangerous position. Your leash breaks and all of a sudden you're in the channel that was helping you get back out to the waves. Well, that's not a good place to be if you don't have a surfboard and the current's just taking you out to the ocean. First-hand experience. So, you know, there's you have to be able to use it to your advantage when it's your choice. And you have to be able to stay away from the same exact circumstance when you don't want to be in that situation. So as things happen in life, just be prepared for whatever comes your way. Have your focus and your intention and find out, are you in the current on purpose? Are you in the current under distress? You know, don't be afraid when you're in those currents and you have lost your surfboard and no matter how good of a person or a surfer you are, if you're in the current and you need help, call for help. This is life. There's plenty of people out there in life to be able to help you, to help me, to help all of us, right? I mean, there's whatever each one of us inflicts us. So don't ever be afraid to ask for help because as soon as you're rescued, you can buy a new surfboard, you can then get yourself back into shape and confident and go surfing again. But if you're constantly just thinking that you're going to be the best surfer all the time and just nothing's ever going to happen to you, yeah, well, lifeguards would be out of business and they aren't going anywhere. So keep plying your bricks, know what your intentions are, know why you're in the water, know why you're in life, know why you're doing what you're doing. And I pray for you and I pray for America.